Hello everyone and welcome back to From One Star to Six Star. I keep looking at the wrong controller. I'm driving myself nuts. I need this controller, not this controller. Two very different controllers. Don't spill. All right, we're off to a good start. Hopefully that is not an uh, not a an ominous note to start on. I also forgot to advance the week. So uh, usually I do this beforehand, but I apparently forgot this time. Um, while this does its deal, um, I got 50 gamer score. Hell yeah. I'll take that. I don't know what that's for. Uh, reach a coach prestige of A+. Plus. All right. All right. That works for me. This is a series where we are taking the Washington State Cougars football team. And we are trying to take them from a one-star... Uh, one star rating to a six star dynasty um, in this mode. We are currently in season two. We are halfway through the second season uh, of this um, of this dynasty. Currently five and one. We're on a five game win streak. Couple of close wins in there. Got blown up by Wisconsin early in the season, but um, have played much better over the last few weeks. Got a couple of breaks here and there, um, but some good wins in there. Some close ones. But a 5-1 record, still a 5-1 record. We have a huge test this week coming up against number 3, Oregon. Uh, so that'll be fun. We lost to Oregon last season in overtime. Their quarterback completely took over the second half, and I struggled to do anything to contain or stop him. Um, defensive coordinator is now level 3, so we have a thing to do there. We have a couple of uh, commits here. And we have three... Three that are ready to visit. I don't know if I should be scheduling visits with like 53 rated right tackles, but who knows. Here's our stats from the last game. We'll go ahead and jump on in here. Uh, you can catch this as part of Sports Night Sundays on twitch.tv slash Rex, or you can catch it Tuesday evenings on youtube.com slash If you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to scroll down, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Um, and thanks for bearing through the loading of that so we'll go on over here we will go to the coach skill tree we have one for our defensive coordinator here um let's see we'll do that. oh i'm sorry that was the wrong one okay my bad my bad um defensive power moves and finesse moves feel like that would be helpful we'll do that keep those changes we'll get you caught up around the country with the rankings which we are not a part of no we are we are a part of Ooh. big top 25 matchup today as we get you set here before before the game we'll take a look at the national national what the national rankings nationwide rankings then we'll get you caught up on the pac-12 standings and we'll move on to the game. Texas A&M is number one, followed right behind uh, is Oregon, Wisconsin, Georgia Tech, Clemson, Notre Dame, Alabama, North Carolina, or South Carolina, excuse me. I read that just completely wrong. No, ne oh my God. Nebraska, Louisville, Ohio State, Virginia Tech, Florida, Michigan State, Miami, Iowa, Oklahoma State dropping all the way from number four to number 17. Quite the fall. We also saw earlier in the standings, number one, Alabama fell as well. Uh, Arizona, Michigan, Connecticut, North Carolina State. There's the North Carolina I was looking for. Boise State, Washington State, North Carolina. UCLA rounds out the top 25. USC, Kentucky, and Florida State all dropped out. California, uh, Georgia, Texas, UCF, Arizona State, TCU, and Mississippi State all received votes. The only one that didn't was Florida State as far as the, the schools that dropped out. So there you go. That catches you up around the country. Let's take a look at the conference standings really quickly. It's still early in the season. Washington State, though, 3-0 and in conference, 4-5-1 and or five and one overall. 1-0 in the division, big huge game against Oregon, number twenty or number two versus number twenty-three. Uh Pac-12 North showdown. Oregon State and Washington both not looking super great. Winless in conference play. Take a quick look at the South. Arizona, or my god, UCLA. 
is off to a fast start at 3-1. and one. Arizona State not too far behind at 1-1. One one. They can make a run at it, get a little help, and call it, call it a Pac-12 championship appearance. USC, Colorado, Arizona, and Utah round out those, or round out the South. Let's jump in here before I fumble any more words around. Uh, here we have the Ducks. They are a 97 defense, 99 offense, and a 97 overall. Take it on the Cougars, who are an 88 overall with a 91 offense and an 85 defense. <coughs> See if we can uh, avenge last season's loss. Ended up being the kind of deciding game of the of the campaign for the Cougars. As we'll uh, jump on in here and get set for in-game action. Uh, I am real tired today. Did not sleep much at all last night. Helping out some people, having a baby, watching their kids so they can go do that. And the kid did sleep and... Ugh. Not the most fun situation, but... That's okay. Here's the team stats. Uh, real good offense for Oregon. Top 37 in pass, but everything else is in the top 10. Cougars, pretty low ratings on the offensive side. Defensively, we have uh, two of the better teams in the country. I'm definitely benefited by playing only in five-minute quarters, but you still have Oregon's defense putting up some top 20 performances in there. They do tend to give up a little bit more in the passing game, um, but that's okay. That's all right. Top players for the home team. Oh, we're at, we're at home. I did not realize that. Okay. Uh, Bo Gordon, 95 overall, 1,011 or 1154, 1,154 yards, 10 touchdowns. Overstreet coming in with uh, 14 receptions, 328 yards, couple touchdowns on a hot streak. Minor, 88 overall, 11 receptions, 185 yards. Top players away. Moore, the running back, 99 overall, has 346 yards on the ground, 206 through the air, like a few, only a few touchdowns, four touchdowns total. Morton, over 1,000 yards through the air, uh, 275 yards on the ground, 15 total touchdowns, and then their cornerback has an interception along with some tackles, six tackles, tackle for loss, all that good stuff. Uh, Strain knee, our middle linebacker, is probable. For the game so that shouldn't be an issue i will switch you to the gameplay and we'll get things started cougars ducks coming right up hi everybody reese davis with you bringing you the ea sports ncaa football 14 pregame show presented by nissan innovation that excites the cougars have shown few signs of weakness lately they are exuding confidence in everything they do Bring together a few W's, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Here we go at the coin flip. Tails. I will win. We'll kick it. Make sure we get that second half for the the uh, has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Don't double dip. That's ball. what I was trying to think. Here we go, folks. Think of. Oh boy, it's gonna be a gonna be a long afternoon, Mr. Tired line. over here. Oh boy. At the 23. Oh. Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country. You and I have been looking forward to this. Morton's decision making ability Morton. makes him very decision -making. effective against any defense he's ever played. Really. Okay. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance of at least shutting him down. Alright, this is going to be the most important. Oh, God. Nice run up 
the middle. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. See you. Okay. So this is uh, not, not a great start. See if I can stay disciplined here. Follow the running back. There you go. There you go. So we really want long drives that are going to be sustained through running the ball. Um, that's going to be... That's going to be the goal here. Oh. Finds his receiver who's all alone. All right, well, I screwed that one up. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. Don't know why he went backwards. The speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. Well, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness! Number one got spanked by the Beavers. In the pregame, David and I thought this was impossible, but look what's happened. A major upset is now complete. Oregon State takes care of business and wins by 17. In another game, the Badgers come into today's game ranked third in the country. This was a tight one to the very end. The Badgers take it by five. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Okay. Well, I immediately goofed up my whole plan. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback definitely going to go with uh, with a run-heavy attack here. Can't give them extra possessions. Kearney takes the game. Oh, Kearney. He's tackled at the 28. Ah, just this gonna get around that, that, that corner. Look at him now. I think he even looks bigger than he did a year ago. Look for him to have a huge year. From their own 28 yard line. It's second down. And he's going to come up with a sack. Oh, they got to me. The worst thing that you want to see is your quarterback not only getting sacks, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. That's uh, not, a, not a good start here. There we go. Oh, I called the wrong one. I meant to hit A, but I hit Y. It's third down. There you go, Whitaker. I guy made it way too easy to find him. He provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. Okay. Good third down conversion there. Try a little slip screen, see if we can use their aggressiveness against them. It's second down. He's on the run, and he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Didn't like anything, tried to roll out of it. I they read the screen very well. He airs it out. Oh. 
Oh my god, Wilcox somehow came down with that ball. Oh my goodness. I thought that was a pick. And they hook up here for a big time game. I floated that right over the middle between two defenders. I didn't mean to throw it that far inside. It's first down and ten now after picking up some great yardage through the air. And down he goes around the 16 yard line. The Cougars always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. What? We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Who? What? These Cougars? The Cougars? And this play is number eight on the drive. Made at the 15. Not getting anything going with the running game here. Hey, how's it going? Try slot post, I guess. No, oh, Wilcox is going to be short by a yard. Still not enough for the first. Nine out of the ten yards. Dang it. Into a hole on first and second down. So the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Defense and their short yardage package. I'm not going to fault that decision. Oh, my God. Only a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. <laughs> that dude obliterated that lineman. It was just in the backfield. Do it again? If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. Across midfield. He's into the open field. Touchdown, Ducks. That was simply sensational running. And it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game. Three dudes fell over the top of each other. Come on. First play from scrimmage after the fourth down stop. 93 yard run. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. As we check in on the Pac 12, the passing game rule. In this league, you better know how to pitch that magic bean. And for Arizona State, they remain red hot. Arizona State wins it 23 14. Oh, good for the Sun Devils. The Wildcats were ranked 18. They hope this victory will push them even higher. And for Colorado, they've now dropped three in a row. The Wildcats get the W, 38-17. 14 to nothing in this one, Reese. Yeah, it uh, it sure like is 14 to nothing. Thank off. you for the reminder. I appreciate it. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10. Room around the corner. He's not there we go. Got a couple extra yards. 28-yard return to get to the 23 or whatever. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. There you go. There you go. Find a little room. We're fine. Six yard, six rush rushes for nine yards. That's terrible. They're about four yards away here on second down. There you go, Overstreet. And he's taken down at the 37. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Oh, that's the end of the first quarter. Did not realize that it was coming and up that soon. End of the first quarter of action. The Ducks lead it by two touchdowns. Two huge plays, two touchdowns. 
Unable to cash in on my big play. Turn it over on a fourth down. I threw that to the wrong player. Oh my God, Sean, please. What are you doing? Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Not the first time I've uh, hit the wrong button today. Definitely won't be the last. Not great, either way. There you go, there you go. Grind out eight yards and wear them down here, kinda. So I can at least put myself in a position to double dip there. We can at least tie it. There you go. There you go, Kearney. There you go. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. That's, oh my god. Overstreet, are you okay? Sir? Sir? He got... Oh, man. He got obliterated. So it's second down and about two yards to go. No! God, number nine. Get out of here. You absolute athletic freak. It's like seven foot twelve. This is the eighth play of this drive. A crisp four twenty pounds, mostly muscle. There you go, Overstreet. What a play! There we go. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. That's what you want to see. Let's go. 324 here. Oh no, he's injured. Oh god, no. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Third trip now into the red zone. And he's tackled at the four yard line. One yard rush for Kearney. 2.7 yard average. Getting it up there a little bit. Second down. Back spasms will return soon. The Cougars saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Go, 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 go. Okay, you're all right. You're all right. We've watched this guy play. One more. In the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. We are absolutely not going to bring him in. We're down by 14 points right now. Oh, there we go. There we go. I saw number nine get off his block and... Uh, there was fear. Fear in my heart. I went, oh no. Oh no. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Off the Salt Lake City, the Trojans have a lethal pass catch combination for a touchdown. Leonard's got a hose for an arm, and already he's tossed two scoring strikes. USC has the edge, 14-0. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14-7. Washington State, to kick this one off. Oh, did not get all of it. I went a little early on the down, the down swing. No big deal, though. Blanchard fields it at the seven. He's taken down at the 23-yard line.
with one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be next you have not been watching this game. There is clear separation between Oregon and Washington State. There we go. There we go. That's a good start. Inching towards halftime here. We're, there you go. That's what you want to see. Drive them back. Or at least slow them down enough to let your friends help. From their own 21 yard line. Second down. We have almost as many yards as they do. Oh, number 13 was there. Oh, my God. 19-yard rush. 14 broken tackles. Uh, this is a bad call. This is a bad play. Did not give me the player I thought it was going to give me. We're doing okay, though. Two for two for 100 yards. He is throwing for 50 yards a throw on average. Disgusting. Get him. There you go. There you go. That wasn't even a blitz. Oregon's going to use their first time out of the half here. 91 seconds here. This is not exactly the position I wanted to be in. They find themselves in a hole I'm going to have to go quick if I want to get points. Oregon is up seven. He scrambled. He's at the 30. He's That's fine. Right That's fine. The 26 yard line. He can he can get those yards. No big deal. It's not great. Come on. Get him. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. There we go. Take that time out. Take that time out. Time out. Don't even care about ice him or anything like that. Just trying to keep as much time on the clock as possible. All right, ten point game. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Seventeen seven, Oregon. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. Don't even think about it, sir. That is way too deep, my man. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Scrambling around. He's under pressure. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. Try slot post. This one's worked well in the past. Wilcox gets a lot of yards on this one. That'll continue. They blitz those two guys on the side, the exact side I was going to throw to. Looked at him the whole way. Lucky that that was uh, that was an incomplete pass. That was could have been a fumble, could have been a sack, real bad. From their own forty-one yard line, second down. Field goal is not the worst situation here. God dang it! They are getting to me so quickly. 
quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. There you go, Miner. There you go. First down. Oh, gotta gotta pay attention. Focus, focus, pay attention. 37 seconds to go here. Should have been intercepted. Absolutely should have been intercepted. I got baited with that blitz. And then, yeah. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. Um, I'm thinking we have to get to the inside the 30 to have a realistic shot at the field goal. Not sure how strong the leg is. Oh, no. Washington State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. God dang it. This is the eighth play of the drive. Their line is so good. Very good tackle in space. I'll take the last time out. I don't like it, but. the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Kind of surprising here that they didn't elect to punt. I don't agree with this call. Oh, Wilcox with his sure hands. All right, 19 seconds, 19 seconds. No timeouts. Keep that in your head, Sean. Pay attention. Let's go verticals. We're right there. We're right there. We're right there. 14 seconds. Clock still running. No timeouts again. No timeouts. No timeouts. Don't want to drag. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're fine. We're fine. Whitaker. Oh, Whitaker couldn't get it. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're not even going to get to the line. What are you doing? You... I was jammed on the Y button and it just did not go. Oh, that hurts. Ouch. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses first and foremost did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it uh, every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes because coaches will tell you it's those big mistakes that kill you it's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row don't throw it in harm's way both quarterbacks done a good job and as a result both teams with zero turnovers in the first half that's going to do it for david and me here in the studio time to get you back to the game red and kirk ready to take you home in the second half All right, and we're back. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Horrendous ending to the first uh, first half there. Got that fourth and eight conversion, and then to the ten. There you go. 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 And they finally make the stop. There you go. That was like nine yards deep in the end zone. That was a dumb play. Way to make something out of nothing there, Ratliff.
<laughs> Go back to the run game at all? There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. It's the tailback. Room around the corner. Oh, what a spin, Kearney. What a spin. Whoop. I can't do it like Chris Berman does. Oh, man. My voice is, my throat does not want to do that at all. Oh, look at that spin move. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. From the 32 yard line, first down. Oh no, this is this is bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. That was uh, absolutely going to be an option play, a read option that I did not want to partic participate in. That the hole that got closed up, number nine, again. That absolute monster, sir. Sir, are you okay? You fell down. Ever since they made that, the engine switch, the player collision on the back end of plays has been so wonky. There you go. Over street on the out. If I just settle for one of those field goals on either that fourth and one or uh, right before half, I could be trying to tie the game right now instead of down three or down seven. I think both of them are the correct play. I do think that I, I it's pretty obvious, like the hindsight 2020, it's like, oh yeah, no duh. Shouldn't have thrown it to the shallow guy. Shouldn't have uh, done that. I hit B instead of RV. Uh, whoops. They look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game. There you go. And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. Well, this young man is having a great individual day. But more of these guys on his team need to start doing the same if they want to get back into the game. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 48-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versus. All right, here we go, Jones. Washington State is ready to kick it away. Blanchard from the six. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. And we held him to a field goal on their last drive. We're down three, 317 to go here in the third. Sticking with the number two team, con Dude, up, 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 oh, number two team in the country. Oregon has a three point lead. There you go. Oh, no. Oh, I got so lucky that Lopez turned around the way he did. He was almost just gone. Stop around the 42 yard line. There you go. First down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop pushing on your glasses, Sean. Jones, you are the last line of defense, my man. Thank you. Thank you. You. It's his first incomplete pass. His receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. What do we have? Second down and ten. Second We're going to basically cover three go. here. 
Ball in the 25. Oh no! Oh no! I read it. I saw it too late. There you go. Good stop, defense. I just gotta. I gotta put those pieces together sooner, faster. Oregon holds a field goal lead. I'm all right with that. I'm, I'm okay with it. That's not what you want to give up, but I, the guy stuck with the uh, stuck with the quarterback and forced the pitch. So hard to hard to argue. It wasn't like he immediately bit one way or the other. He kind of he hesitated for a second to at least try and see what was going to happen. And he's tackled at the ten. Second down and seven. Ooh, quarterback and keeper. Three yard gain. All right, here we go. Four, third, and four. I have like, I guess an extra, an extra rusher, maybe two. I'm trying not to get baited into the screen play here. Oh, it was a tunnel screen. Farts. God dang it. I heard him say screen, and I went for the running back instead of the receiver. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. the PAT. A nine play, 73 yard drive and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing back. Dang it. Mixing the dang it, dang it, dang it. Pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. The score now 24-14. He wasn't breaking I, that tackle. What a hit. Did not work. Oregon's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. This offense right, did don't really want to well completely here abandon the run the game here. There. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And there you go. There you go. Five yard run. You have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. From their own 20 yard line, it's second down. No, I thought I was going to have some room around the outside. That dude showed up out of nowhere. What the heck? There you go. Oh my gosh. That's uh, another one. Another one got absolutely clobbered. Receiver. Got absolutely clobbered. From their own Another one eats line. some pads. First down. Just a lot of pads in their mouth of the area. Hopefully they have their helmet strapped on tight. There you go. Sixty-six yards. That average is going up. We're getting some some chunk plays on the ground here. You know what? Just let it wind to the fourth. Let it wind to the fourth. We're good. We're fine. Down ten. It's okay. It's okay. And we're going to need a defensive stop, which hasn't come easy for us. So. And 
that'll bring this third quarter to a close. 24-14, Ducks. Okay, here we go. We can, uh, we'll run a little right, inside cross again. Start action here again in the fourth quarter. Oh, he was right. He was right on him. So we're looking at another third down here. All right, so we're looking for Whitaker. He came up with that catch. I thought that was going to be an interception again. They like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. I am uh, throwing some dangerous passes here. See how they play Overstreet. There you go. Overstreet had it and he almost tipped it into an interception. That was almost very bad. I like that read though. That was good timing. Second down. Throw it before they even turn it around. Throws this one out to the right, and it falls incomplete. That was intercepted, and he just fell out of bounds. Thank God. Oh my goodness. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Here's play number ten on the drive. He's on the run. On the throw, incomplete pass. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. We gotta go. We gotta go. Set to go for it. Now he tries to buy some time. When the first down marker is that far away. Someone's got to terrible and make a play on absolutely horrendous 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 let's uh let's take a quick look at the replay here so we can just watch how god awful that was um nobody's really open but i immediately started sprinting to my right two players immediately lost their block up here um You'll see the the center and then to the right. I mean, this is the play. It's 87 over the middle. It's back across the body over the middle of the field. You let it go here. Here, here, somewhere in here, maybe. All in. Hmm. Yeah, right there. I don't know. Hopefully, I guess, theoretically, hopefully, theoretically, hopefully he has enough time to get the ball out of his hand. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really this is a, kind of the culmination of a lot of just poor decisions on my part. Um... He's at the 30, gains his way to the 26-yard line. Yeah, Oregon is a juggernaut in this game, and I'm sure that they are never going to really dip that much. Uh, the road to the Pac-12 title is going to go through the Oregon Ducks. There's a nice spin move. Got him down. Down by 10, though. There you go. There you go. Like, it's going to make much of a difference. We're still going to be down two scores. We gotta hold him out of the end zone here for at least a shot at it. At least a shot. Third down and they need to get it to the 15. Green 
There you go. Rally to the football. Force the fourth down. Fourth and five. Should just kick a field goal here. Oh, come on. Boo! Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. All right, 27-14. We're going to rely on my offensive abilities, as many as there are, a lot of them, a lot of abilities, to get a score. He's to the 10. There you go. Oh, rat lift. The finish line right left. Let's see who wants this one more. Well, at this point in the game, this offense has no choice. They've got to try to get down the field as quickly as possible and come up with a touchdown, probably an onside kick or a quick defensive stop, get the ball back. We're going quick defensive stop. So they need to execute and execute as well as they can. Well, quick almost threw the game away right there. Are you kidding me? Big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. It's second and ten. Ball on the 33. Less than three minutes in the game. Fires quick. Tipped. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Third down. We're gonna we'll try a screen here. I do not have high hopes in it, but Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's taken down around the Just no one no one was able to guard that. Or, God dang it. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Wilcox, Miner, Ratliff. I don't think uh, Overstreet's really ever come back into this game. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. You got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, they rushed will make everybody. Play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. They're set to go for another round. The game where I was, uh... I mean, absolute, absolute best case scenario. It's 27-20. I still needed a touchdown there, but that was instead of needing two scores, obviously you only need the one score. From the 30-yard line, second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Gains his way to the 10 yard line. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and goal. Not the game I was uh, looking for. 27-14. Cougars never really in it. Uh, got it as close as 10 points or whatever. But two uh, two big plays. Oh, God. What? Seven for eight. He had, so he had, he was two for two for 100 yards. He was five for six after that. 
for not a whole lot. There's the big play in the first quarter. Uh, one of two of them gave up uh, 14 points quick. Never could uh, overcome it. 27-14 is your final number two, Oregon. Bruises to a victory, and our ranking will be short-lived. Um, yeah, that's a frustrating one. Obviously, I don't know. Sounds cliche or dumb or whatever, but it's like, obviously, look, you take the points. Um, especially at the end of the half, really should have just taken the, taken the field goal there. The fourth down wasn't terrible, except for... I never really got much of the run game going, and especially early, it seems like a, it's usually a struggle. Um, they get they get going better throughout the rest of the game, but early on, they, the Oregon defensive line was dominating. I don't know. I don't know. No, I do know. I don't know why I said I don't know. I do know. I just clearly, I just explained it. Irritated. Irritated with myself. All right. Gordon, not a great day passing. 17 for 31, 253 yards. No touchdowns, no picks. 54% uh, completion percentage. Two sacks that he took. Kearney had 18 for 66 yards. A little over three and a half yards. A carry, two touchdowns. Had a 16-yard long. Um, 18 yards after contact. Gordon, two for negative 17. Receiving-wise, Overstreet, 5 for 72. Wilcox, 5 for 96. Whitaker, 4 for 58. Miner, 2 for 25. Kearney, oh, 1 for 2. Uh, blocking, I don't care. Defensively, not a whole lot to write home about. No One sack by Ivy early in the game. No picks. Just a good Oregon team. Good Oregon team. So, we'll go ahead and just finish, like, second in the Pac-12, I guess, and... Try and regroup after this one. It's a nice little five-game win streak there. Cougars will be five and two after this one. Boise State led early in that game. You saw it at the bottom of the ticker. Um, they were up 14-7, but they fell apart in the second half, lost by 12 to BYU. Uh, there's your game stats. A lot of rushing yards. Time of possession, that's what you want to see, uh, for me at least, winning that. Turnovers, goose egg, that's good. Passing yards, really high. Rushing yards, not great. First downs. Player of the game, Kearney. We saw his stats. Ivy had that sack. Morton, 7 of 8 for 135 yards. Two touchdowns, 9 carries, 74 yards. Their left outside linebacker had two sacks. Four tackles, two for loss. Injury report, uh, M. Jones, not 100% sure if he was in the game. It said he was probable. Uh, and then hopefully Overstreet will be uh, ready to go next week. I don't know if he was in that second half much um, at all. Micah Smith is now three. I believe we've already taken care of that, so no, no big deal there. Um, next week, we will be taking on... There's so many menus and submenus and things to look at. Next week, we will have a buy... Actually, next week will be the episode at number 18, Arizona. So back-to-back -back ranked teams here. Uh, and two teams that I would really not like to face back-to-back. -back, they both have the more high-octane, fast-paced offense that I really struggle against. Uh, California at home before Oregon State, Arizona State, Washington. It's all Pac-12 from here on out. Uh, we'll have a shot at the Pac-12 title, but we need Oregon to lose twice because they will own this highbreaker if we manage to win out. We're going to need help, but, you know, worse has happened to Oregon. They've been number two in the country before, and then lost to the Oregon State Beavers. But we can't focus on that. Got to focus on Arizona next week. Try and hopefully get better, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, not a great game. Not a great game. We're really piling up the losses here on my Twitch channel and uh, YouTube.com slash Rex where you can watch all the fantastic, uh, all the gameplay. Um, you can head on over there, youtube.com slash Rex if you're watching that on YouTube. Hey, be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell, do all that good stuff. Check out twitch.tv slash Rex uh, Sunday afternoons, and you can catch the uh, sports night 
live starting at about 3 p.m. Pacific time. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Go Cougs. Let's beat those Wildcats. Cat on cat next week. We'll see you then.